Hey, Samson Madness fans! Welcome to the Space Jam, our new legacy merchandise hunt! Final round, aka Holiday Edition! It's been a few months since the Space Jam new legacy released, and despite its negative reputation, which is honestly kind of expected, it, but in terms of the Looney Tunes, it's kind of shocking to see, I still found the movie freaking awesome! The animation is gorgeous, and there's a lot of fun cameos and references, like, everything is here. Literally. Everything. Now, if you want to talk about Christmas-themed Space Jam merch, you're not going to find as much. Like, there's a Space Jam stockings, there's Space Jam ornaments, which there is a pretty good handful of uh, LeBron James, which is expected, Bugs Bunny ornaments, and there is more. Heck, we even got a much higher quality Bugs Bunny and LeBron James ornament, and I'm going to get my hands on those. Which, by the way, now that I mention this, there is still more Space Jam New Legacy merch still going, despite his negative reputation. So with that out of the way, folks, let's begin. Our journey begins at our OG location, Walmart Kenosha. You may notice right away that the sign kind of changed. The, the logo may look the same, but the sign did change. So while I was looking in the ornament section, yeah, no, wait, yeah, yeah, just no luck at all. As expected, Walmart's cheap. Wait a minute, what's this? Ooh, I found a Bugs Bunny ornament. So this is one of the ornaments I talked about earlier. It's a decent quality. Let's put it in the cart. Okay, now on to the toy area. I doubt it. At this point, I what? What? <laughs> what is this? How do they still have? Okay. House since June, how do they still have these toys of New Legacy? I mean, heck, most of them got LeBron James' face literally taken out. Though some are still remain. So what we have here is Space Jam action figures and more toys. There's... Ah! Oh, all I need is wet, like, wet mamba in order to complete the collection. Darn it! So, so close. Anyways, so... Yeah, these have been here, I believe, since freaking June. That's kind of shocking to see, especially when we're talking uh, Walmart here. And, <laughs> yeah. Oops, I dropped. Get, get back. Get, get, there you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, so this is also a newcomer. Marvin and Macho with a rope. Where's Marvin? Where, where's Marvin? And there's a Mar- Okay, what are these people doing to these action figures? Just leave them alone. Please. Also, worth noting here, there is no Space Jam DVD. I already own it, just so you know, but for some reason, there is no Space Jam DVD. Hell, there is barely any DVDs here. Goes to show that Walmart is not committed to selling DVDs, unlike other places. That is expected. What's unexpected, however, is that they still have the Space Jam diapers. I don't believe it myself. How? Since, since the friggin' summer, they still had these. I will admit, I've seen a lot of bizarre products, and this is probably one of the most bizarre. So I'm sorry, I'll have to abandon this. Which, I'm gonna have to anyways. Also, I found a pretty cool shirt with Garfield, one with Looney Tunes. Now this is normal, not Space Jam themed. So there's one with Daffy and Tweety on both sleeves, and Bugs, of course, on the front. Now, for just a fun quick stop at the Christmas area, the Joy Shop. And they had a pretty decent amount of wrapping paper with other brandings, including Space Jam, A New Legacy, and Elf. And so because that wrapping paper is a massive requirement in order for me to wrap a lot of gifts, we're gonna need to buy some wrapping paper. So, uh, yeah, we definitely need some. Real for sure. <laughs> Alright, on to our next location. Meyer. I will admit this, I am not a massive Meyer fan because they barely have anything that I'm looking for. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And when I went to the toy store, I realized one thing. Yeah, Meyer is way too cheap. Cheaper than- Whoa, wait, 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 what is this? Whoa, they got something. 
They got old comers and even new comers as well. They got Batman and Robin and a cyber hero from the Matrix. Hey, they got Bugs Bunny as Batman. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Even though I'm seeing none of those at all. I still gotta say, these look really good. I am impressed. Especially when I found the four original Space Jam Funko Pops. That is pretty dope, I gotta say. I got my eyes on them. For sure. And also worth noting here, I also found some t-shirts of A New Legacy. This one I already own. However, this one I haven't. I will say, this is probably one of the best New Legacy shirts I've seen. But it's not my size. But I also ran into another Looney Tunes shirt, which looks, again, really awesome with all the Looney Tunes right there. But I got my eye on them for sure. What I don't got my eye on, however, is this random Lola Bunny uh, pajama set for ki little, little kids. Not my size. And you can definitely tell this is for girls, not for boys. I am sorry. That just came right out of nowhere. What also came right out of nowhere, however, is this one Space Jam hat. Ready to jam with Marvin the Martian, Bugs Bunny, and the Tasmanian Devil. Once again, this is children's size, so... Yeah, I'm gonna abandon this for sure. Yeah, get out. And also worth noting here, I also found this really awesome Looney Tunes wrapping paper that is actually uh, dedicated to the HBO Max series, Looney Tunes Christmas. I love that show, and I love what they did here. I love it. And on my way to the checkout, I noticed this. So basically, this is a uh, pop-ups? What is this? I, I love this. I, I love how they detail the head. And yeah, oh my god, what the? Oh, it's a lollipop. Oh, that's cool. Interesting, do they have any others of uh, Space Jam? Oh, yes they do. They got LeBron James. There, I killed LeBron James. You LeBron haters happy now that I killed him? Sheesh. Anyways, here's Tweety. A nice looking model to say the least. Until you, well, brutally murder him. Ooh, watermelon, my favorite. All right, it uh, looks like the only one that's missing is Lola of Horse. So yeah, I love the models of these heads, and if I see one again, I'm gonna grab them. Now on to the quick stops. On my quick stop in Walgreens, I found these I don't know where masks of my well, some of my favorite cartoons. Like of course Looney Tunes, the main topic of this video. But they also got um, Tom and Jerry, which another one of my favorites, and Scooby Doo. Wow, they are just raining down my favorite stuff here. And also worth mentioning, they also have these uh, Looney Tunes socks with Taz and Tweety. Again, I love them. And Scooby-Doo, that, that, that's freaking dope. Also, I just noticed that the tag changed. Yeah, that's uh, kind of interesting. Also, on my second quick trip, I stopped by a gas station named Gulf just for a random pit stop. When I immediately found Bugs Bunny Popsicles. And Sonic like and Minion Popsicles, but I mainly grabbed the Bugs Bunnies. And so, of course, the purchase was a success. For sure. I also bought a Sonic and Minion Popsicles just for the sake of it. Also, if you just want to see how the Bugs Bunny wrapping looks like, here it is, folks. Here it is, guys, with all of its glory. I never tried a Bugs Bunny Popsicle, and I am so excited to try one. Let's go and eat one. Honestly, guys, despite the lack of quality on these popsicles, they literally miss the gumball, right? Look at this. Still really good. I, I, I really like this one. If you find it, grab it. I like it. Where were we? Oh, that's right. Our main locations. Let's go. Next off, we're going to go to a little friend of mine, the Rigney C. Mall. Before, I found a lot of stuff. Will that haul up? Let's check Route 21! And it looks like my theory was correct, as they had a really good amount of Space Jam shirts, including this socks and... undies? Okay, even for a Space Jam, that's kind of disturbing. 
but they also got Rick and Morty, Simpsons, SpongeBob, and Tom and Jerry. You gotta love it here. You gotta love it. Oh, and one more thing. They also got this really nice looking Bugs Bunny shirt. I would love to... Oh, what is that? Look at back. There you go. Wait, this... Wait. This song sounds awfully familiar. Okay, where was I? Ah, yes! More Space Jam shirts, of course! They got the whole Toon... No, Toon, Toon Squad, my bad. Um, yeah, the game's all there! I love this shirt! Oh, wait, there's another shirt, of course. But this time, it looks awesomer. Like, awesomer is awesome. How many Looney Tunes shirts are there in Route 21? Seriously, there is, like, a lot. Also, looks like Buster Bunny is officially all grown up. Big reference. And... To keep the holiday spirit in this uh, video, here's Mr. St. Nick's Empty Claws. You can barely see him, but I'll get to him next time. Okay, FYE, you may have impressed me one time a month ago. Let's see how you hold up. Let's find out. And if this blanket wasn't enough, turns out they have a Space Jam blankie. Why didn't they sell that before? But this blanket does look really nice, I gotta say. Also, this shot glass exists. I actually love it, but I don't want to buy it because I will break it. And, of course, based from last time, there is no Looney Tune or Space Jam Funko Pops. Ugh! But, as obvious by now, there is Looney Tune DVDs. Of course, I didn't find the new Legacy one, but there's no more DVDs. And, if you remember last time I was here, there is a big new Legacy area. Nah, there's none. Well, at least there's this Blu-ray. And also, some socks left over as well. And it's a nice change of pace, too, because in the back, there's a Goon Squad, while on the front side, is the Toon Squad. You really don't see as much Goon Squad merch nowadays. You really don't see as much. Also, worth pointing out, I also found the OG Space Jam DVD. Yep, the OG. There it is, with all of its glory. I already own this one, just so you know. So, uh, yeah. In other news, Avatar, one of my favorite cartoons, right off the bat, one of the best Nickelodeon cartoons, not gonna lie. Hot topic! You failed me before, and you still fail me now! Now, even though they don't have any uh, Looney or Space Jam merch in here, I did find something else kind of interesting here. These Ninja Turtle Funko Pots, which they are actually from the Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze movie. As you can definitely tell. Also, if you've been watching a lot of my Six Flags movies and vlogs, I've been trying to win this Among Us plushie. No success, but I could have some success here! Damn it! Oh, wow. Let's... Let's take a break, okay? By going to the ice cream shop. That should become a song, honestly. Same stickers, yet they only have the Minions... Bugs, no, no, Spongebob, and Spider-Man. So, ah, fine, I'll grab them both. And guys, in honor of the new Spider-Man movie, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, which I am hyped about, I decided to buy a Spider-Man popsicle because, why not? So basically this is like, uh, how many? I bought the Bugs Bunny Popsicle earlier, then the Sonic and the Minion. One, four, five. Holy cow, this is the... Let's just open this up. And I better be very careful. Alright, let's see how the Spider-Man looks like. Where's the stick? Where's the stick? Somebody's whistling. And... <laughs> I think this is it. Actually, wait a minute. We found it. I think we found it. The perfect Spider-Man Popsicle. There it is, guys. It has a little bit of a dent all over it, but we'll clear that off. There we go. This is the perfect Spider-Man Popsicle right off the bat. That was too easy. We need a little challenge. And so I also decided to buy, once again, a SpongeBob Popsicle once again, because honest to God, why not? But I'll be honest, Bugs Bunny popsicles are better than Spongebob popsicles. But is this popsicle at least better?
Shall we continue our journey? Rob. This one's good. Hey, Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho! We're starting to make things festive in this vlog. Yay, Mr. Santa Claus with cameo. Let's go to Jimmy Jazz because we're going to find some more space jump merchandise. Hey! Holy cow, I need to grab my breath. Oh, wow. And it looks like they got some... Wow, these are nice shirts. Look at that. But my God, that price. Jesus. And it definitely shows why it's expensive. Also, they actually have a regular Space Jam uh, t-shirt. How can I tell? Because of the tag, of course. And also, they have a Marvin the Martian shirt, which is really nice. But where's a kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom there. What is earth-shattering, however, is this one-of-a-kind Daffy Duck sweater. I love it. They got Daffy Duck in the sleeve. They got everything. You know what will make it better? A backside. Oh, they got a backside. It just made things better. Holy cow. I wish this wasn't $80. That way I can purchase it and I can have a... Like, ah! Darn it. Well, um, they also have a pants version of that. Even though it doesn't have a backside, unlike the sweater, this is still a nice looking pants and I'll definitely purchase it if it wasn't $80. But in terms of the kids side, they have this really nice looking Looney Tunes shirt with all the Looney Tunes like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Sylvester, uh, Marvin the Martian. If this was adult size, I would love to own this. Also, we are in the wrong decade. So, Rick the Sea Mall still has a lot of Space Jam slash Looney merch, and I am extremely proud with them. Next up is a very random place that I would never thought I'd go to, Five Below. Now, since this is a newcomer, I better uh, take it easy on them, okay? Okay. Oh. Oh, we're doing this? Alright, they got some LeBron James ornaments and a Bugs Bunny ornament. And wow, this one looks adorable. I would love to buy this. Actually, I may come back for this, actually. I don't know. So yeah, off to a great start. Oh, we're off to an even better start. Seriously, what is this, actually? Uh, looks like this is a Space Jam... Uh, that is... Markers. Huh, magical pictures. I like that. But they also got stickers, which is also pretty nice. I love these stickers. Has all the Toon Squad and the Goon Squad. And a nice decal, too. But what I didn't notice from the stickers is they also have a backside revealing more of the Toon Squad and the Goon Squad. And also, they have even more Space Jam merch with these, uh, like, to go play things, I guess. There's a there, there, there bunch of stickers, coloring sheets. Yeah. It's basically one of those. But that wasn't the only one I found, as I found an unexpected decent amount of stuff. Like a Tom and Jerry decal, and in a surprising twist, Animaniac stickers. You never see Animaniac stickers nowadays. Holy cow. I am so glad I spotted these. Wow, if I would have bought those, I would have bought all they had. Like, wow. Just wow. But back to Space Jam. Here's Sticker Land. Ooh, is it gonna be a variety of stickers? Like a lot of stickers? How does a how do they look anyways? Oh, they actually look pretty nice. Wow. How are the rest look? Do they all have different uh, themes or what? This all the Alrighty then. Let's just move on to more socks. Now, I already own these Space Jam socks, so I'm not gonna grab them again. But these socks really look nice, I gotta say. Bye, Homer. Bugs Bunny took your place. And also, as expected, I found ev the even more Space Jam stuff. They got posters. Two posters. So basically, there is eight to collect here. And actually, there is not even eight. How many are there to collect? Eight? Yeah, it looks like there is. Yeah, there is eight to collect. So I was right before. I just didn't remember because my mind is completely blown away from all this stuff. Oh, you kidding me? There's even more? How many Space Jam stuff are there in this one place? 
this looks like a poster. Yep, that is a lot of posters. There's all the posters. Actually, I'm gonna move this so there's a lot more. Uh, there we go. This is all the posters. Looking nice. Needs more loonies, though. But this front page totally steal the show. But we just can't focus on the new Space Jam. We also gotta make some room for the original Space Jam that started it all. And here's the poster. Absolutely beautiful. Back to the new ones. Here's a phone wallet for you guys. In case if you need a wallet for your phone, here is three different ways to actually do that. So, yeah. Sorry for the long wait, guys. We are here at Cole's, and it's a newcomer to the series. Let's hope they got some Space Jam slash Looney merch. And yes, as expected, they got some. Ready to jam. Honestly, I don't know if I'll be... Yeah, I won't be buying these. These are too small for me. I'm so sorry. Uh, what else do they have here? They got... Oh, I love these jammies. But this one, however, takes the cake. So this is the Space Jam Sleepwear Pant... Pant. And T. With they got some jammies. Yeah, these are jammies with Bugs, Daffy, and Taz. I love this. I love it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes! I would love to own this. You know what I also love to love? I love to own this. Unfortunately, this is children sized. Yeah, we're going inside the children's area now. Because my mind is completely out of order. And they have this shirt completely out of stock. But I found two more. Hey, these could be good for your children. And in terms of the ornaments, what could this be? Of course, it's the Space Jam ornament. Please excuse me, guys. I know I'm supposed to buy stuff for my family, but let me just buy this quick thing for myself. So, oh, the, oops. Oh, hold on. Let me grab a fresh one. Okay, there we go. Okay, I am so sorry I have to do this, but I had to do it. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so I uh, also found this Toon Squad jersey. No, no shirt with all, most of the Looney Tunes there. Love it. It feels my size. Anyways, the purchase was a success, along with the other purchase I made for my family. And there's the ornament. Again, I'm so sorry, guys. I just wanted to get the ornament just to get it over with. Last stop is Target. Now, before, I said they were the best place to buy some Space Jam merch. But will that statement uh, be still? And it is! All right, the Target gods have spoken! As we got some old and even newcomers as well. They got these Series 2 minifigures inside of a basketball. They got these uh, Space Jam mini... Oh, no, action figures, which they're standard. Bugs Bunny Gajitsus, much higher quality compared to the one I already have for some reason. And uh, four-pack action figures down there, which we already seen. But what we haven't seen, however, are these Series 2 minifigures inside of a basketball. And wow, what, what, what the? Ah! Don't get back in. Get back in. Stay, John Cena. Okay, please excuse me, guys. I'm just gonna grab only one. That's it. Okay, where were we? See some Space Jam DVDs, Blu-ray, DVD, and whoa, what is this? Ooh, it's a Target exclusive. So what is this? It looks like we have some exclusive character cards with, uh, looks like LeBron, Bugs, Daffy, Tweety, Alola, Speedy, a lot. Nice. If I didn't own the DVD, I would love to own this, but I don't have a Blu-ray player. Anyway, so this is looks like an activity book with Space Jam. That is interesting. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, there's stickers, there's crayons, and it's also a coloring book for your children and not for adults. Yes. And also worth noting here, they also have Space Jam beddings, as expected. And even though I couldn't find any Space Jam plushies here anymore, which is sad, I still found that. And this blankie. Very, very soft. Also, right out of nowhere, I also found this Bugs Bunny towel? Yeah, that's actually kind of new. I have never seen this before. Um. So wait. You're the character? As if like three Bugs Bunny costumes wasn't enough. Surely I need another. 
Also, what's worth mentioning here, like Walmart, they got Space Jam wrapping paper. But this time, it is a lot different looking wrapping paper. And again, since it is required to do all my gift wrapping from my family, we might as well. Also, just like... Okay, hold on. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Just like Five Below, they got this really cute looking Bugs Bunny ornament. However, unlike Five Below, this one is $2 uh, more expensive. Come on! Also, they got some more Space Jam t-shirts, which is expected. I already own this, just so you know, guys. I already own it. So, yeah, they also got more regular Looney shirts, too. Nice. And so with that, folks, the purchase was... Ugh. Sorry, I got all this stuff from my family. It was a success. Well, Target, well done. Mission accomplished, everybody. Mission accomplished. Ugh. And here, folks, are the final results. Yeah, it's a decent amount, which I'll have to say this once. It's not that much compared to the other rounds, but there is a logical reason. It's Christmas. So what I had to do was also, while I was at it, buy some stuff from my family. It was not easy. But I did manage to buy some stuff, very limited stuff, from myself. However, these two were a big requirement. But, these are the stuff I did for myself. Just so you guys can be happy, and just so I... I guess the same situation, I don't know. Anyway, so we have his, uh, Hallmark Keepsake Space Jam ornament. This one, uh, basketball minifigure. This Bugs Bunny Popsicle, which I did keep the wrapper, and I ate the popsicle, it was pretty good. And another Bugs Bunny ornament. So yeah, now if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of gifts to wrap from my family that cost me over $200. I hope you're happy! And so with that, guys, this is going to conclude the Space Jam A New Legacy Merchandise Hunt. Wow, it's been a massive wild ride doing all this, uh... Space Jam New Legacy Merchandise Hunt for you guys and for myself too to expand on my Looney Tunes collection and it seems that I uh, may have overdone it a little bit but hey I'm proud and considering how these videos have done with over a thousand views I'm proud guys I am proud and I may do this again off camera actually I'm going to do this off camera, so please forgive me. And yeah, again, just thank you guys so much for watching this Space Jam A New Legacy merchandise hunt from all the way back into beginning of May to now. It's been one ride. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to question me this in the comments. Will you be doing this again, but with a different movie? I'm going to be honest right now. I'm not really that sure. I mean, there is the new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie coming out in 2022. Which, that's why I bought the Spider-Man Popsicle earlier. And, I don't know, really. There's not much... Wait. Oh. The Mario movie from Elimination. I almost forgot that was a thing, still. <laughs> Great. Well, guys... Um, if you'll excuse me, I need to go to the bank. Oh. Uh, the, 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 uh, that's all, folks.